there's this possibility of uh, bonding from the earliest moments of life after conception. She's just discovered that she's pregnant. And, well, how did she react? It can be two different, very different directions. It can be, oh my God, this is so wonderful. Can't wait to tell my husband. Right. <laughs> this is what we prayed for. This is exactly the right time. The other direction is the serious one. This is, oh my God, this can't be so. I can't have a baby at this time. My, my husband will shoot me. Mm -hmm. He'll leave me. He's told me. He's threatened me. Bonding um, refers to the mother. The mother bonds to the baby. And the baby attaches to the mother. A baby in the womb whose outer body is the mother means that the baby is having the experience that the mother's having. I remember when uh, my ex-wife was pregnant, uh, I, I would talk to our daughter in the womb, and then later on she would kick when she heard my voice. And I always had the privilege of being the first person she saw after she came out. And I'd say, it's me, it's daddy, which is what I would say to her in the womb. She'd go, ooh, wow. You know, she immediately knew who I was. In studies, they follow the fate of children adopted into families that have a lineage of cancer. Found out the adopted child will get the same family cancer with the same propensity as any of the natural siblings, except the child came from totally different genetics. Little ones, if they haven't been traumatized, are naturally loving beings whose hearts are open. At the core of their being, they know love and connection. You could sense this presence and this being start to uh, grow and acknowledging its presence, not as an it, but as, as a real being, our sessions created the space for this child to be loved. It feels like it's coming together. I guess. I, I feel like it's in progress, I suppose, because part of it is just me being more clear about what I do want. The function of the mind is to create coherence between your beliefs and the reality you experience. Even before I decided to have children, we were working on preconception pieces because we were working with my birth patterns um, and different pieces of my birth, trying to shift that so that I'd be prepared um, to have my own children. If you're going to be a parent and you're going to be entrusted with the genetic engineering of a future civilization because that's what parents are doing, they're shaping the next level of evolution, well, I think it's worthy enough then to look at your own life and why is this important? Well, not just for the life of your own child, but my God, our own lives have been impacted by us being parented by other people. If we correct our own, we will naturally lead to progressively better parenting, better offspring, and a better human evolution. The change that I'm proposing and what I work with is that this baby has a voice from the very beginning, and we must listen to that voice.